This is a five minute window into life, God and the Bible. When our family goes out grocery shopping, there is often a debate as to how much candy and chocolates we should buy as snacks. I am the one who leans towards buying more fruits and vegetables. However, there are some members of my family who would like to ensure that there is always some chocolate or candy available at home. As I prepared this presentation, I read how Daniel negotiated with Ashfinez, who is the chief of the king's court officials, about the type of food Daniel and his three friends should eat. Please test your servants for 10 days and give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare our appearance with that of the young men who eat the royal food and treat your servants in accordance with what you see. Then it turns out that after 10 days, they look healthier and better than the other men who ate the royal food. Maybe, maybe I should let my family read Daniel 1 before we go to the grocery store the next time. On the serious side, however, the food was yet another compromise which those Jewish young men had to make in exile in Babylon. The young men were forced out of their homes in Jerusalem and are made to learn the culture, language and literature of Babylon. They are forced to compromise their Jewish faith. They are given new Babylonian names which pay tribute to the Babylonian gods. For example, Gavin, uh, Daniel is given the uh, name um, Belteshazzar, which is a prayer to the wife of, of the god uh, Bel. Uh, uh, so Daniel's new name actually means wife of our god Bel, please protect our king. So it is not just a question of culture, it is also a question of the new faith that is imposed on this young Jewish man. So it is not just a question of diet, uh, though I would urge that fruits and vegetables are good for you. The food laws imposed on Daniel are a matter of the faith practice. Daniel and his three friends would have grown up in the synagogue school in uh, Jerusalem, uh, knowing that there are certain foods like pork which the people of Israel are not permitted to eat. So their stand against the royal food and wine is not a matter of diet. It is also a matter of faith. They want to be faithful to their witness to their God, Yahweh. Uh, however, look at how they witness to their God, Yahweh. Do Daniel and their three friends stage a hunger strike to protest that, so that they get the right food? Or do they protest out loudly carrying placards and demand their rights? They do no such thing. They model witness of their God uh, with quiet negotiation. They talk the method through with Ashvinus and ask him to test them to see if mere water and vegetables for 10 days would work for them. Can we learn something about sharing our faith from Daniel and his friends? Um, they model what I call negotiation and demonstration. Negotiation that they should try out the 10 days and demonstration that uh, the 10 days actually work. So how is it that Daniel and his three friends could do this? Maybe if someone else was in charge and not as finesse, they might have been executed for treason. There is this verse in Daniel chapter 1 that explains how Daniel and the, his three friends were able to do what they did. Daniel 9, 1 verse 9. Now God had caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel. Although they were far away from their homes in Jerusalem, God has not forgotten about them. God reminds them that he is still with them, even though they might be far away in the city of Babylon. God causes Ashfinesh to show compassion and favor on them. God reveals himself to them and they respond in negotiation and demonstration. So, pray for more Ashfinesses to come into your life. People who are willing to give an, a listening ear to you and your faith.